Hello everyone. Today I have an interesting strip to share. This is from an adult patient with a history of hypertension who came in due to mechanical fall. What is your interpretation? As you can see, there are bigeminal PVCs, QRS complexes 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11 are all conducted with prolonged PRIs or prolonged PR intervals about 0.28 seconds. And the PRIs of complexes 13 and 14 are shorter, about 0.16 seconds compared to the to the mentioned before, to the one mentioned before. And the P wave after QRS12 is not conducted or is blocked. So what's the possible, what's the explanation? The possible explanation can be shown or is shown in this ladder diagram. And this is due to the PVC with retrograde or with PVCs with concealed retrograde conduction. Concealed meaning um, you cannot see the behavior of the PVC on the surface EKG and it will just manifest as the, as we can see here, the PRI prolongation. So what's happening? So the, the prolong, for the prolonged PRI, the sinus P wave following the PVCs reach the AV node during the AV node's relative refractory period. And so, it is conducted with the prolonged PRI. Why is the AV node in the relative um, refractory period? Because of the PVC going up and reaching the AV node. What about the blocked P wave or the non-conducted P wave after QRS number 12? So that P wave reached the AV node during its absolute refractory period. And it's in the absolute refractory period because of the concealed retrograde conduction of the PVCs. So, hence, you uh, the this P wave failed to conduct or is not conducted. So I hope you like the EKG, and the next time you see sudden prolongation of a PRI or a drop P wave, look for this behavior, and it might be concealed retrograde conduction of a PVC. Thank you and have a good day.